That probably counts as a reload for lap. Plus we died once, which also counts, I think. I see you, buddy. What is this thrall waiting to do? It's just sitting there. That was not great. I think I missed a big portion of him. Also, that there's a thrall that's just waiting to drop right on top of me. That was close. When the heck does that little guy drop on me? Where is he? Weird. I don't even know what's in here. <laughs> what's he doing up there? I thought maybe this is where the slab would be, but I honestly have no idea. Massacre! The slab is in this cave? Okay. Oh, it's probably back there, huh? Ah, fine. Just get poisoned. There's an animation when you drop on their humanity and it instantly kills them. Oh, God. I have to... I mean, there's a ton of these guys, so don't you worry. We'll see it. Uh, eventually. But I definitely want to... I've never actually seen that. I definitely want to do that. That sounds great. Alright. I saw someone recommend I should have just reloaded to get the extra dialogue, but uh, we were right here, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Oh, we have caressing tears. What am I doing? I don't need purple moss at all. Where's my stupid talisman? This talisman, I don't even know if it's considered decent at all. It's level 10, though, so it's probably fine, even though we don't have any attacking spells. When will I upload this to YouTube? Well, the VODs that I release every day are still way back at Dark Souls 2. <laughs> so once the Dark Souls 2 VODs finish, then it will be Dark Souls 3. So probably not for a while. Probably the end of this month will be the start of, uh, of Dark Souls... We can come down here, by the way. Will be the start of Dark Souls 3. Hello, my friend. That was a big risk, and somehow I didn't die. I don't know if any of y'all have been watching my Dark Souls 2 VODs if you missed the streams. Yeah, and I know it's a, it's a fairly limited audience, but I've enjoyed playing it, and I figured, like, why not put it up? I got a YouTube channel. People enjoy watching it, so like, yeah, sure. Let's put a, let's let's you know, record it instead. We just got the sword. I think that Harold Crow Greatsword is pretty good, actually. It doesn't necessarily instantly kill them. Yeah, but it does have a special animation, which is neat. I don't know what that guy was doing. Fall damage. Oh, wait, I might still have the cat ring on. No, I don't. Okay. I've seen you finishing doing Arcane's second human book. How hyped are you for the rest of the second books? Well, he has said he's not making them. Though he's been... He's teased that he's making them. But he's he's outright said, like, he's not going to release them. So I don't really know what the deal is. Like, I've spoken to Shardundred. Extremely friendly guy. Love talking to him. Um, but in public, he's basically said, I'm not making any more. At the same time, on his forums, he sort of implied that he is making more, but without outright saying he's making more. So I honestly have no idea what the situation is. Alright, let's go fight, uh... 
Desert Warlock. Desert Pyromancer. Let's get rid of these guys first. This lady is actually pretty hard, and I'll probably use a lot of Estus to kill her. I also want to make sure I go back and talk to Lap. Yeah, that attack. Don't get hit by the flame fan. It'll kill you. Maybe not instantly, but it'll probably it'll probably come close. Ah, that's a lot of damage. Now that's a lot of damage. Eat lightning. Stop. Stop. Please. Ooh! Alright. I need to hydrate. Also, I have to pee because I've been hydrating. But again, it's so dry in my house, I need to, I need to get the humidifier set up. It's so dry here that I need to drink a lot and therefore pee a lot. Otherwise, I will seriously regret it. My sinuses get all messed up. Nice, she's out of Estus. Don't use that on me anymore, please. Stop. Stop. If you don't know that that's an attack she can use, it will kill you super quick. Ooh! Worth. Good night, sweet princess. We get flame fan. We're not really specced into fire, so... There's the hood. Okay, our next goal is to find and kill the last angel, which is here. So we just have to kind of scramble around here out of vision of him and find the creep that's that's summoning, and he's down here. Um, okay, he can't see us. No, oh, why did I do that? Now I have to go back up. I don't know why I thought I would make that. That's fine. We can just, we can make the run. Go eat some Estus soup. Uh, I'm just gonna, I wanna kill this, I wanna kill the, the guy who's controlling the angel. And then get to the next bonfire. Well, I'm gonna kill the guy controlling the angel, loot the area that he was guarding, and then I will, uh, go pee and get some more water. That's the plan, at least. And then we'll fight the boss, because the boss is basically right after that. And then we're done with the dreg heap. Ringed City, actually, in my opinion, is pretty short. Or maybe it's just because I got used to running by all the enemies. But there really is not that much in Ringed City. Like, there's a lot of content, but not that many areas, if that makes any sense. Alright, let's see if we can get by this guy without getting killed. Then you drop here. Run up. Drop again. If you just try to run straight, you'll get, you'll get smashed by him. Drop here because there's ash. There we go. Divine blessing, nice. Okay, and then we come down here, and I think this is where he is. Pretty certain. This is the last one we have to worry about. Yeah, don't talk about don't talk about Zigward. <laughs> Don't talk about it. Okay. Here he is. Cool. That's all done. I'm pretty pleased given these areas. I mean, it's a DLC. It's pretty challenging. We haven't died that much. Uh, really, I mean, to mobs only like two or three times. None to falling, and then we died to Freed twice. Frida. Gorgeous view. Pointless. Uh, okay, so I'm going to warp back to where Lap is, because we got the treasure, so we can talk to him, and then we can walk through the area where the, um, where the angel was guarding and pick up any items that were there, which I don't think there were many, but, you know. Hello, my friend. Oh, look at you. You found the treasure. Dashing. Just dashing. 
You'll make good use of it, I'm sure. Now, this is a little toast from me to you. <laughs> Not much to speak of, but uh, bottoms up to the greatest warrior there is. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's like a glitch drop you can do on top of him. This really is a dreg heap at the world's end. Mangled remnants from every age and every land. It actually sort of lends credence to the old rumors that the ringed city rests below it all. What happened to Onion Bro? You went to sleep? Uh, Yorm just killed him. <laughs> he killed, yeah, he just died. He got trapped near the throne. I couldn't get him out of there. And uh, I tried to Alt F4, still died. This really is So, not much to say there. It was bad. So we're just, we just, we didn't really see him die, but it happened. So we just are kind of pretending that he had his his ending and all was fine. Even though that's obviously not what happened. But uh, yeah, it was pretty shitty. He just got penned into a corner and I couldn't get Yorm's attention away from him. I think there's just undead thralls back here. Oh, you think it's intended? Okay. Dude, plunging attack gods. What is happening? Why could I not hit that guy? Oh, he's gone now. More desert pyromancer junk. Yeah, so I think it's down there is where you can drop, but I've never tried it. So you can get the, the double shield door build. Oh! Oh my god, this is it. I'd never realized that you could just do it from right there. Son of a bitch. Wow, okay. It all makes sense now. Alright. Giant door shield. Sure. Uh, we're gonna make our way up and around one more time, and then it's boss time, baby. I don't think there's any shortcut back. You just gotta run, so here we go. Jay, get the gate? Is that what I just picked up? Is that what you're talking about? Ziegler was like, it's my throne now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Get out of here. What are you doing? Give me that chunk. DS2 had the saddest one for me, if you know who I'm talking about. Hmm. I I don't. Oh, yeah. Luca Teal and, and Benhart. I really liked... I liked how they had that set up. How you... Um, you summon them in and you were, like, giving them purpose by allowing them to help you kill bosses. And it basically, it just, it doesn't really permanently help them, but it prolongs them from going hollow, which is cool. And then they thank you at the end. They give you their gear. Why is there not an Onion Bros Covenant? How would you envision that working? Like, I mean, a genuine question. I'm not being like, hmm, what are you talking about? That's stupid. No, like, if there was an Onion Bros Covenant, chat, tell me, how, how would you think it would work? Right. Onwards. We're done with Earthen Peak. So we've seen some DS3 ruins. We dropped real far. And then we saw some DS2 ruins. And then we're going to drop real far again. Take the plunge. There's Gale again. All right, I'm going to go back to Firelink real quick, spend my souls. The boss is just ahead here. You can also summon Hawkwood for this boss, I think, which is real strange, but, you know, whatever. I think you can summon Gale, Lap, or Hawkwood. Or maybe not Lap. Maybe it's only Gale and Hawkwood. Oh, 
Hello, my friend. Works very well, then hey. Farewell, I've been picking Hushing up any crunchies. One. There really aren't many crunchies in Ring City. Ah, look at this. Hi. Welps. Very dead. Still two damage per. We're, we're pushing that 500. F 500 damage for a one handed well, weapon is pretty darn good considering it's a low stamina cost. Alright, I'm gonna pee and get some more water. I'll be back in uh, about two minutes. Okay. So who's left? Double demons slash demon prince. Spear of the church, Medir, and Gale. I don't think I'm missing anybody. You can cheat engine your stats and level backwards to invade me, but I don't think Jay would enjoy being invaded by a cheater. I mean... You're cheating to de-level yourself. That doesn't really strike me as particularly egregious. You want to invade Jay before I beat the game. You don't be able to think you'll level up. Yeah, so I'm at 108, which means you probably get to have to get to around 100 and able to get in range of me. Again, also, uh, we're coming up on Spear of the Church, which, which is like a built-in way for invaders to come and try and get me, so... Uh, okay, so we're gonna go and fight uh, the next boss. We're dropping down into the next layer. I did not recognize this place, actually. Take the plunge, you won't die. Again, they're developer messages, but I think it's more basically, like, it's the, the idea that Gale is the one leaving the messages, and he's leading you to him. Uh, and I did not recognize this area when I first went down here, so see if you can. Uh, it's not really that easy to figure out, and also, uh, I'm gonna be a little more quiet because, you know, good music can experience the boss fight for the first time. Here we go. demons.
one of them stands in the back. Usually. When they do that, they kind of power down. You see, they only have enough energy to like be powered up with fire for a certain amount of time. down ones typically hit you with toxic damage like that explodes and does a bunch of toxins so you want to avoid that shit got hit by it now they're both powered down god damn it I might be able to recover this. Caressing tears. Basically, if you're toxic, you're gonna die. Period. I staggered him there. It was actually him performing an attack. have to kill both of them, by the way, so it doesn't really matter which one you're damaging, you, you gotta do them both anyway. like a back swipe there yeah you gotta be careful you don't want to run too close because they'll get you oh god almost dead I'm using too much estus here Maybe. Yep. They make you fight two of them and then, oh, and then look, now it's another boss with like a whole different move set. 
Like, the two together are hard enough, in my opinion. Come on! Basically gotta hit him in the head if you wanna stagger him. here is stay close to him. I feel like his attacks get more powerful the further away he is from you. Red bug pellet saving my life. R1 spam him! Yes! Oh yeah! Oh god. Wow, I can't believe I did. I even got toxic in the first phase, and I managed to recover it in a win. That's incredible. Oh, that's invigorating. I can't believe that. Hell yeah. I gotta catch up on the chat now. That is a hard boss. Obviously, the first phase is an Estus Drain. Very easy to die. If you get toxic, you're pretty much guaranteed to die. Um, and what happens if you didn't notice, so there's two of them, and they charge up in between each other. One is, like, filled with fire, and one is not. And the one that's not shoots toxic attacks, and you have to keep an eye out to not get hit by those, uh, while also avoiding uh, the main one. But I find that doing damage to the, the one that's powered up is a little easier, so keep an eye on that one. Dodge its melee attacks while dodging Toxic and try to get attacks in. Big Estus Drain. Then Demon Prince is harder, but he's, there's only one of him. So I took my red bug pellet to be more flame resistant and we, we got him. Welcome. Very oh, that was welcome. awesome. That was awesome. Farewell, Ashen One. Oh, thank you, Don, Redler, Butane. Longwind Chicken. <laughs> Ultimate Troy. Mr. Hole, Solid, everyone's saying good job. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't think I have any other crunchies. I like to keep one in my inventory. I like to see how you can watch them all evolve into bigger souls. Um, okay, so... You know, while I'm here... I talked about doing this. I don't know if I'll actually use this as a weapon. I'd have to change my gear, but uh, you can buy uh, Frida's scythes. Ah, so. I took them. I just want to show them because they're so flipping cool. It's really only one scythe. Wha! But, if you two-hand it, the weapon art is using both of them. Flippin' awesome. And there's two different combos as well. And it doesn't even cost focus to do. You can 
you can shoot, uh... Well, it, you can't see it in Firelink, but you can do the, uh, the frost attack where it, it spreads across the ground to frostbite. Pretty, pretty flippin' awesome. We'd have to spec, spec into Dex Intelligence if we would want to use those. Uh, and I thought about fighting Gale that way because Gale is actually resistant... Or, I'm sorry, Gale is, uh... He's weak to frost. So that actually would be pretty neat if we did that, I think. But I don't know. I haven't decided if I want to bother or not. Let's go back and continue through onto the Ringed City. Drink water. Thank you. Jay, did you know Demon Prince has two movesets based on which dies first? I actually did not know that. That's pretty neat. <clears throat> I don't know which one we actually got first there, but it seemed like... Uh, I know he does some movesets where he shoots, like, giant flame meteors and stuff. By the way, that was vengeance for old Demon King, who killed us at least eight or nine times. <laughs> and then we killed fucking Demon Prince right away. Uh, and also, if you check the Demon Prince soul... The demons, birthed from a common chaos, share almost everything between them, even the pride of their prince and his near-fated flame so that the last demon standing may rekindle it. So look at it this way. We just killed the last demons. They have been completely eradicated. Not a single demon left. And that's going to be a, a pretty common theme in this expansion. We're killing the last of everything. <laughs> Literally everything. You can't do the frost attack because you don't have the int required. That makes sense. It's also the fact that the attacks of the two bosses seem to be tailor-made for spacing the two bosses away so you can focus on one of them at a time. Yeah, it's it's really well done, I think. It's, uh, like, really well-designed bosses in the expansions. Except maybe Madeir, only because if you're spec'd Int and Faith, you're fucked. There's just no, there's no, he's resistant to everything that you can do. By the way, where we just were, that was Firelink Shrine from the first game. It's hard to tell, but like the well is there and some of the buildings, uh, people pieced it together and it, it definitely is. So we went from Dark Souls 3 and Lothric down to Dark Souls 2 Earth and Peak down to Dark Souls 1 Firelink Shrine. Because they're all stacked on top of each other in the drag heap. J confirmed genocide master. Nothing is resistant to my 800 raw curved great sword. Exactly. That's why I feel like doing an elemental transfusion is fun, but just uh, either a raw build or uh, a quality build will always be better. <laughs> just because there's never really any risk to something being resistant to physical damage. All right, here we are. The ringed city. Isn't there an NPC around here? Hark! They brought thee here, did they not? Dost thou the gods serve, or merely that role affect? <laughs> A lie. A wretched lie. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? Thy scheme is known to me. I know what it is thou desirest. The dark soul. Hang on, I I'll talk to this guy later. <laughs> I used a seed, and now the invader is basically trapped down here. Okay. Well, we can talk to this guy. He may he may or may not be able to get out of there. Hark. They 
April. Dost thou? We're just pretending this time. Yes. Yes, of course. How wouldst one such as thee do service to the gods? I have intimate knowledge of thy kind. I know thy want. The Dark Soul, is it not? Why else wouldst one deign to visit this dung heap? Give rest to thy falsity. I would be an ally to thee. <laughs> so these are the pygmies. If it is the Dark Soul thou desirest, then seek Filianor's church at the base of the cliff. There will thou the sleeping princess waken. Her slumber is a deceit, a lid covering an overgrown privy, a prop to keep thee from the dark. All right, well, I wanted some lore, dude, but now I got to fight you instead. That's a good hit. He knows he can always run back. I can use another seed, though. Don't make me use another seed. He's, he's using a whip. Do you think I won't just do this again? I don't want him running to the archers. <laughs> Get him! Roll catch! Ha ha! Well, I used two seeds. Was it worth it? Probably not. Uh, how much until our next level? We can actually go level up now. So I'm gonna go do that and see if maybe we got a seed of, uh, giant whatever. And then we'll come back, we'll talk to the flippin' NPC again, because I... He's basically giving us the backstory of the Ringed City, but we couldn't really pay attention because I was invaded. But that was, uh, that was fun. Welcome. Very then hey. But he's saying there's a, a person, somebody perhaps, named Phil. Okay, we're only getting one level or one uh, point of damage for this now. Manifestations of disparity elucidated by fire, borrowed Now let's just get up to 30, that's fine. So we have to find Philinor's church, and he said that she's asleep and it's a deceit. That's pretty much it. Oh, and I want to go check and see if we can find. Uh, See if another seed dropped. I'm a little sad he didn't die to the archers. That would have been more satisfying. But they helped us pretty much stagger him and get him dead. Uh, I'm still a little sad we didn't get to kill that guy on the bridge. We were so close, but that was pretty fun in any case. The seeds used to last until you die? They should. I mean, they're so rare. They really should. They really should, in my opinion. Hey, we fought off two invaders today. That's a first. He glad those archers don't use the umbrella. Oh, the the, the silver knight bow and arrow. <laughs> At the same rate. That would be crazy. The barrage of archers is actually the strongest damage in the game. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Someone up above. Onion Covenant. You receive Ziegbrow for helping other Onion brothers for walkthrough locations. Give Ziegbrow. Ziegbro to Zieg Word to get higher ranks. Reward for max rank onion set. That makes total sense. Yeah, Ziegbro is it's a good item, but no, like not enough people have an opportunity to use it because it's limited. All right, can we actually see what this guy has to say now? <laughs> Worry not. I am a true friend to thee. If thou art yet human, the urge will soon begin to swell to curse the gods and bring ruin upon this accursed heap of dung. <laughs> okay. Now, yearly to Filianor's church at the base of the cliff to rouse the sleeping princess. If thou yet the dark soul desirest. <laughs> so they're all crazy. Hello, Archer. Hello, MRMM. Do I remember you? Uh. uh... Did you have a different name at some point? Okay, now we have to go through the archers. You can't kill these things. You have to get to the summoner and kill him or just run by him. 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I think there's a skeleton around here too. Should we wait for it? Go, 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 go. Skeleton? Ha! Ah! Why did it have to be skeletons? Oh, okay, see ya. Uh, actually, we're gonna do that too. <gasps> it worked. <laughs> we're alive. Soul of a Crestfallen Knight. Oh, you watched my StarCraft II stream? I spoke to you before. I'm sure it's in my memory somewhere, but thanks for joining us again today. Do you remember the Sentinels from DS2? Yeah, that's what they look like. That's a good, that's an interesting find. All right, let's draw this skeleton down to us next. You don't have to kill the Summoner, or the Adjudicator is what they're called. You don't have to. Um, the implication is this army of ruined sentinels, or just sentinels maybe, <laughs> was sent here, and they all died, and now this is this is what they're up to. This is their, this is their forever charge is to guard the city. So he's gonna summon these guys forever, and you can't get up to him this way. So the I think the the key is wait for an opening, we're gonna run by them and run past him, because he'll summon a different type of enemy when you do that. Right. Oh, that's not gonna work. Jeez, oh man. They're kinda all offset right now. Two, three, okay, here we go. Oh god, oh god. No, just roll, just spam roll. Okay, we're live, we're live. So if you come down here, rather than the archers, he'll summon a, a melee guy. Yeah, instead. It's like a silver knight. And then that allows you to run over and get him. Come on, come on. Oh god, we're out of stamina. <gasps> get, kill him! Get him! No! Ugh! Okay, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Uh, he's dead, you get a divine blessing, and uh, he's permanently dead. So now we can casually stroll through here. We'll just re-ember ourselves. <laughs> Praise the onions chat. Why aren't crystal lizards extinct yet? We have to kill the last ones for the Jaberino Covenant. Yeah, it's possible that was the last one. I don't know. In this 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 whole area, maybe we're again we're the whole point of this DLC is you're basically Wait. What? Is it because we didn't survive? I am actually mad. I swear the first time I played this, he doesn't respawn. Go get the bonfire first. Yeah, good good call. I will do that, so that way uh, uh, I can hit him from back backwards, basically. Oh, we're not going to make this. Uh, uh. Wow, okay. Dark Moon, this is not the fucking time. Well, the skeleton's dead, at least. My God. <laughs> I can't, I don't know why I thought he didn't respawn. I know there's a one later that, that respawns, but I didn't realize that one did. Or in the dreg heap. I don't actually think I can drop from here without dying. <gasps> okay, now it works. Oh, he's right here. Okay, I'm like, what the hell? I would have suggested he avoided that, but all right. Nobody's perfect. So am I just gonna escort him through here or what? Like, where's the red phantom? 
I think he's wearing Artorius's armor, or maybe Abyss Watchers. Down here, buddy. You fucking asshole. Here's another instance where I might use a seed. If he tries to retreat up there again, I'll use a seed. There's also another blue phantom who's on their way. Dude. What? Why can't I use one here? Oh, because I'm a blue phantom. Let's just go kill the... Let's just go kill the thing. You know what? I'm gonna go kill the thing. I think he did. I think he just used a... Uh, I think he just used a thing. I'm gonna go a seed. I'm gonna go and kill the angel. There you go. Okay. Now we gotta gangbang this, uh, this red phantom. Yeah! There you go, buddy! Oh, Concord well kept. He's an Ultra's Faithful. That's great. That's two. Now we're going to get sent right back into the middle of the archers. I hope we're in a safe place. We are. Okay. Your friends want to uh, to play Destiny 2? Oh, God damn it. Oh, what a way to come back from that. Yeah, you should go play Destiny 2. I'll, I'll, if you keep me on in the background, I'll shout when we're getting close to the spear. And obviously, once we get to Spear of the Church, I will also be changing to that covenant. God, again? Chat, let me pull you. Do you mind the PvP? I can turn it off. I'll t I can turn it off and just play the game. Uh, or I can keep PvPing. Uh, you tell me your opinions. Uh, I hate this. Oh, well, okay. That was an easy Concord. Thanks, host. Yeah, let me kill this guy for you before I get warped out. There you go. If you want to drop down here, you're free to do so. <laughs> we almost have 30 ears. We could get uh, Dark Moon Blade, Respect into Faith. That would be pretty good. I would just go to a Dex build, Dex Faith, and uh, change our infusion to Sharp. 